Well, we're just enjoying a quiet morning. Uh, we got up here yesterday, and uh, my buddy Scott's also up here. It's our annual trip to the cowboy dinner tree. We did it last year, and, uh, well, Scott didn't go last year, but some other friends and I and Donald from Soft Running the West, we went, and uh, it's going to be the same group plus a couple extras. Like I said, my buddy Scott's up here, and the rest of them will show up later today. So I'm right now just enjoying a very quiet morning. Got some coffee and a fire and a, a beautiful, beautiful, quiet and calm morning. It's been just crazy weather the last week with wind and rain and snow mix and uh, just typical spring in Central Oregon. But yeah, it's a it's a fine morning this morning. So yeah, other than the crackle, the fire, and a few ducks quacking behind me, it's real calm and nice. So. So yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this, and uh, yeah, it's just going to be a fun weekend with friends this weekend. Alright guys, so we're just cooking up some breakfast. I haven't been eating breakfast a lot here lately, so I don't really have a lot of breakfast-like food. So we're doing steak and eggs, which I think will be kind of the theme. Steak will be kind of the theme of the weekend since we're going to the cowboy dinner tree. But one of the things I get asked a lot on the channel is why I don't cook over the campfire and I use my gas stove a lot of times. And the reason is, is a lot of the places I go is pretty much just pine and fir. And if you've ever cooked over pine and fir, it kind of sucks uh, it it makes a mess of the pans it doesn't impart a good smoke flavor it's just not a good wood it doesn't make good coals so when it comes to that kind of cooking or campfire cooking I love doing it but I like to use good wood when I'm doing it so that that way I get a better flavor out of the food now if you guys caught my episode 2 on my van camping channel you saw there where I did do some campfire cooking and I love it I love doing wood fire cooking but only when I have, you know, some good decent, you know, wood to use that's gonna make a nice coal and impart some good flavor. So I spent quite a bit of time yesterday cutting up a tree that was down up here on the hill. But this morning, I'm just kind of walking around and grabbing bits and pieces. I've got plenty of firewood down at the camp, but I think I'll just save that for tomorrow morning. And uh, we'll just use what we can find, just kind of spread around here. Now there's plenty that's just easy, easy pickings, easy to grab. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of nice to wander around too in the morning. All right, folks, well, we're just kind of getting camp set up a little bit more. I went ahead and got the awning out on the van and decided that it was just a little closer to the fire than I like, so I went ahead and shifted the van around just a little bit. That's kind of the nice thing about uh, the 270 awning is when the legs are up, I can still move the van around and I don't need anybody to hold the awning or I don't have to put the awning away. So that was nice. So we've got it shifted around a little bit better and I feel a little safer about uh, its distance from the fire. 
I've also gone up on the hill and as you can see I cut a bunch more rounds they're still in pretty good lengths but they're already down here and it'll be quick and easy for me to grab the chainsaw and cut them up as I need more firewood because you know we are here for the dinner tree this weekend and we got some friends coming you know you can probably hear another chainsaw running in the distance and that's my buddy Scott getting some more firewood for that camp but after the dinner tree is over Megan and I are actually going to go ahead and just hang out up here for another week so I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of fire so we can or firewood so that we could enjoy a fire for the the rest of the uh, week in the evenings now you probably noticed in some of the shots you can see some power lines coming through this camp uh, that's a little bit of a downer uh, the, the fact is is we had another camp we were going to go to but it's there's a lot of snow melt going on up here everything's just super wet and muddy and that camp was just pretty much a swamp so I started looking around and found this particular location and uh, there was a couple of things that I had to find is a it had to be able to work for Megan to be able to use her Starlink because she's got to work next week so even though we're gonna hang out here she's still got to be able to access the internet and and do her job eight to five and it had to be big enough for enough people and even though the power lines are a little bit of a downer it's still a good camp and we've got some running water out in front so that's gonna be handy so all in all um, it's not bad and you know these aren't the type of power lines that buzz or make any noise I, I don't even know if they work I'm, I'm assuming they probably do but um, they're not a big problem they're just a little bit of an eyesore anyhow like I said everybody should be showing up here shortly and uh, I'm really looking forward to it Good morning, folks. Well, we're up this morning. Last night, we all just kind of hung around the campfire and just enjoyed talking with each other and just sharing stories and just, yeah, it was a pleasant evening, nice fire and just a, a good time. But we're up this morning. Everybody's kind of getting around doing their own things, getting settled in for the day. And that's exactly what I'm doing over here. I'm going to make some breakfast for Megan and I. Uh, our friends Julie and Corey were nice enough to bring us some fresh eggs from their chickens. And what I'm really excited about is they brought me some homemade bacon that they made. So I'm really excited to give this a try out. And uh, then Megan brought some potatoes. Uh, so we're going to do some eggs, bacon, and potatoes. So we're going to get that going this morning. And then, uh, yeah, I think we'll probably just hang out for the day. We've got the dinner tree reservation tonight. And so I think it's just going to be a relaxing day. And uh, yeah, so let's get this breakfast going. I tell you what guys, it's not nearly as nice a day as it was yesterday morning, but it's still very pleasant out and it's fairly warm. And as much as I'm really enjoying my new interior kitchen and be able to cook standing up inside, it's still really nice to be able to get out and do some outdoor cooking again. So I've been enjoying that over the last couple of days and I'm sure the weather will only start to get warmer and cooking outside will be the way to go in the future.
Well, as you guys can probably hear, it's raining. Uh, so definitely, like I said earlier, not the nicest day. Definitely not as nice as it was yesterday. But, you know, we're staying dry under the awning and the breakfast is tasting delicious. The homemade bacon that Corey and Julie made is absolutely delicious. We're really, really enjoying it. So thank you, Corey and Julie, again for the homemade bacon and the eggs, because uh, the eggs were really good too as well. All right, guys, well, a couple of us have decided to uh, get out and do some hiking. As you can see, the weather got a lot better. Uh, still a lot of clouds in the sky, but uh, much more beautiful day than what we had this morning with all the rain. But we just kind of came up on a plateau just overlooking the camp, and we've just been wandering through this area, and it's a mixture of like high desert and pine and fir forest. But a lot of the area that we've been in is, uh, you can tell has been burned, but we've come into a section here where we're overlooking the, the same creek that we're camped off of, and you can see that that hasn't been burned, and it's just really picturesque and really beautiful, and it just gives you a, a sense of what this whole valley looked like before this fire came through. All right, guys, well, we've been hiking around. We actually were on that rim over there. That's where we hiked up. And then we kind of moseyed along that flat. We ended up dropping down back in there, down to the river. We crossed on a log, and then we've come up on this other side, and now our camp is actually just down below us here. But uh, we found this one rock here. It's just real interesting. It's just super precariously sitting there. You, can, uh, you may be able to see, like, that is just one good shift of wind away from rolling all the way down the hill but anyhow yeah we're we're pretty close back to camp it's been a good hike so we're just gonna mosey on a little further this way drop off the rim rock and then back in the camp and then start getting ready for some a big dinner which will be great after a long big hike like this Our time at the cowboy dinner tree was just as amazing as it was last year. For those that are familiar with the cowboy dinner tree, it is a restaurant in a very remote area of Oregon and you need to come with a big appetite. It starts you off with some salad with homemade dressing, you get a big bowl of baked beans, dinner rolls, the dinner comes with a baked potato, and you get your choice of either a monster steak or a whole chicken, and then you gotta save some room for a little dessert. It's a great place if you get the opportunity to go out and do it, I highly recommend it. The Cowboy Dinner Tree has an old cat that wanders about the place. He's very friendly and he made good friends with Corey last year while we were waiting for our reservation. Once we got settled in, the old cat came roaming in and settled right back in next to Corey and seemed very happy to help Corey out with his meal. All right, folks, well, we're back at camp. It's actually the next day. Uh, last night we went to the dinner tree, all of us, and as expected, it was absolutely a delicious meal. It's so much food, but uh, so well done and so well prepared. And uh, yeah, it's just a great, great time. But like I said, it's the next day. Everybody's been on their way home. We still got a couple people here at camp, but most everybody has headed their way home. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this little adventure. Megan and I are gonna stay here for the, throughout the week and uh, enjoy this spot. And you'll probably see a couple more videos that will originate from here. But uh, yeah, just gonna enjoy ourselves and have a good time. So if you guys enjoyed this video, do give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below and we'll see you guys again outside.